in continuation to protozoa the next phylum is dictyostelomycota so we are seeing one by one uh, starts with uh, plasmodia poromycota the previous one is uh, uh, acrasiomycota now uh, dictyostelomycota and we will see the just some important points uh, that we can consider in dictyostelomycota uh, my name is janesh shankar reddy phd plant pathology so here uh, as I mentioned in the classification itself, uh, Plasmodia poromycota is already over, Acrasiomycota is also already over. Instead of Chanjova, uh, we replaced it here with the uh, Dictyostiliomycota. I was a little bit confused here, that's why I just uh, take it out and uh, put this Dictyostiliomycota here. This is actually the cricketal classification. Uh, as I told you in uh, taxonomy itself, we are following 90, 90 to 95% of this uh, cricketal classification, the remaining 5 to 10% adding the new things also. Uh, instead of Chanjo, we are uh, replaced with uh, Dictyostiliomycota. Now we will see the, some common features or the important points to consider in Dictyostiliomycota. So the members of this genus are generally known as uh, Dictyostiloids or Dictyostiloid cellular slimy molds. All are slimy molds only if you take, if you take protozoa. All protozoa, what are all the fungi, everything that comes under protozoa are slimy molds only. That again, it is given to cellular slimy mold or acellular slimy mold uh, in uh, that was actually we discussed in uh, Plasmodia poromycota. So here uh, generally called as dictyostilides or dictyostilides cellular slimy molds. They generally produce a fructification called as sorocarp, whatever the same kind of sorocarp that we observed in Acrasiales, Acrasiomycota, the same kind of sorocarp also we can see here. For example, if we see here, uh, we can clearly observe Again, it's like a sporangia only. We can see some globose head like or globose ball like structure that form above the stalk. That globose structure, if it is a oomycota, we are calling a sporangia or sporangia. sporangia. So that is a holding a stalk like structure called a sporangiopore, right? Here it is called a stalk that holds some globose or ball like structure or maybe sac like structure. Like we cannot call it sac like structure like a a ball or bulb like structure that is called sorocarp which is actually stalked which actually holding on stalk right yes this is stalked and some sorocarps also a little bit different we can also see some kind of walls here in the uh, in uh, the stalks here uh, all are uh, sorocarps only uh, but uh, this is the different different sorocarp for example if you see the picture a that is the uh, sorocarp of uh, acetostelium and if you see this uh, this is the typical uh, dictyostelium uh, Sorocarp. If you see the picture uh, C, this is uh, polysophendilium. So this is like different kinds of fungi. Generally, if you see all are having the same kind of feature, there is sorocarp, which is actually stalked. That is common thing. When it comes to sorocarp, what is sorocarp? However, what is sporangia? It is like a fruiting body or fructifications, like a fruiting body where spores are produced, right? Here, the sorocarp, it is not, uh, it is actually sorocarp, right? Not sporocarp. When it comes to their sporangia, we used to call. This sorocarp actually contains, uh, these are actually like a fructification that contains spores inside. If it is a oomycota, we are called sporangia where sporangiospores are present in tight right so here when it comes to sorocarp the fructifications contains spores embedded in a matrix matrix without covering the wall so there is no special covering of wall here so it was embedded uh, uh, where the spores are actually packed inside generally so there is one important genus uh, that we need to consider maybe other fungi also might be there but there is only one genus that we are going to discuss that is a dictyostelium it is a very important one why we need to consider this dictyostelium is it is an excellent biological system uh, to study the morphogenesis morphogenesis means uh, uh, like uh, producing new kinds of organs uh, generally what we call the morphogenesis uh, genesis means uh, birth, giving birth to new kinds of organs or something kind of things will be there, right? So uh, morphogenesis means uh, maybe changing or uh, new production of uh, new kinds of organs or new kinds of things uh, that may be observed in dictyostelium. So this is an excellent biological system to study the phenomenon of morphogenesis, especially there is a fungi called dictyostelium discoidium is a best known uh, to study this uh, morphogenesis phenomenon. And there are homo homothallic and heterothallic species are there when it comes to homothallic species uh, dictyostelium mucorides is the best example of homothallic i think this question i have i have uh, encountered somewhere else but this question was uh, important little bit important what is the homothallic species of dictyostelium dictyostelium mucorides 
and both homothallic and heterothallic species also there dictyostelium dictyostelium discoidium dictyostelium gigantium dictyostelium purpureum dictyostelium violaceum so there are the couple of species uh, that were uh, they can uh, they having the properties of both homothallic and heterothallic so in addition to this uh, sexual life cycle this uh, dictyostelium is also get benefited by parasexuality phenomenon there is a fungi called dictyostelium discoidium that can benefited by both sexual cycle as well as parasexuality phenomenon so these are all the some common features of this uh, genera dictyostelium so apart from this dictyostelium there is nothing much uh, important to look in detail about this uh, uh, phylum this is the dictyostelium almost all are slimy molds only you can see like uh, like uh, slime kind of thing will be absorbed right so all are slimy molds only all this uh, protozoa itself is a sl slimy molds only so this is generally the picture of uh, dictyostelium so further more information uh, student can refer my book a vision into plant pathology a complete student version further doubts and clarification and guidance uh, students can reach us at www.geekyresearcher.com Stay geeky and stay tuned. We are Team Geeky Researchers.